Hi, this is Pastor Glenn from Chapmanville Community Church. Welcome to our Invitation to Christmas. We are reading through the Gospel of Luke as a church family. We're reading one chapter each day that corresponds with the day of the month. Since today is December 8th, we're reading Luke chapter 8. Hopefully you've already read, but as we get into this today, let's ask the Holy Spirit to be our teacher. Father, again, I thank you for your word, and I thank you for the faithfulness of your word. As we open up this chapter and we dig into it, God, may we not just read with our eyes, but may we read with eyes of faith so that we would see what you want us to see, we'd hear what you want us to hear, and you would use this time to prepare our hearts, not only for Christmas, but for the rest of our lives. It's in the name of Jesus we pray these things. Amen. As I look at this uh, particular chapter, the highlighted verse that I have chosen uh, that seems to have jumped off the page at me is Luke chapter 8, verse 15. Let's read this together. But the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and good heart who hear the word, retain it, and by persevering produce a crop. We're looking at the passage that many of us know is the parable of the sower. Jesus is using an everyday illustration and teaching his disciples and the Jewish people a spiritual principle. He's using something familiar to teach something spiritual. And in doing so, he probably saw a, a farmer, a sower, casting seed and may have even pointed at him and said, there's the sower and he's casting the seed, he's sowing the seed, and some of the seed falls along the path. That, that seed represents this, the, the word of God um, falling along a place that gets trampled underfoot and the birds of the air eat it up. He said some of the seed falls on stony ground. It doesn't get the nourishment and the moisture that it needs for God's word to grow in our lives like it needs to. And some of the seed uh, falls in an area where there are weeds and the weeds choke it out, much in the same way that the cares and worries of this life oftentimes choke out what we need to learn from God's word. But he said some of it falls on good soil. And that represents, as he says in the passage, the noble heart, the good heart that, that is able to, to abide in the word, persevere, and as a result of that, produce a good crop. Well, in looking at this, and I think of what is the application of this, how do I apply this to my life so that God can use this to prepare my heart for Christmas? Um, when I look at this, I break this verse down where he says, the seed on good soil stands for those with a noble and a good heart. If I want to be prepared, I want my heart to be prepared and my life prepared for Christmas, I have to go before God and say, I want to make sure that my heart is good and noble before you. So you search my heart and change what needs to be changed. I, I want to make sure he goes on in this passage and says I, that the person who hears the word, I, I want to make sure each and every day I am listening to God's word so that God's word is the foundation of my life, but not just to hear it. He says to retain it. It does no good to hear it one moment and then it's gone out the ear the next. No, I want to retain it, bury it deep in my heart and soul and meditate on it and live it out each day. And that's what he says, to persevere. It's not a matter of being wishy-washy one day on, one day off. No, persevere. And by doing so, then a, a crop for eternity can be produced. But what's my response to this? My response is, as always, God, search my heart, check the ground, check the soil uh, of my heart so that when your word comes, it will fall on the right kind of soil and produce the crop that will give you the glory as it should. Help me to persevere because I don't want to give up partway through. I want to stand strong. I want to finish well. I want to run the race that is before me and someday here, well done, good and faithful servant. That's what I glean from this passage. How about you? Send me an email. Let me know what you have read, what you learned from this, and what God is teaching you. And I'll learn from you. 
Hopefully you'll learn a little bit from me. But in all of this, may God use the passage from Luke to prepare our hearts for Christmas and beyond. I'm Pastor Glenn from Chapmanville Community Church. Have a blessed day.